All right, so this is gonna be a quick video. I gotta use my iPad here to record this uh, because I'm gonna need my phone here for part of it. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick charge video and we're gonna also discuss just real quick. I went and picked up one of these uh, VPeak uh, OBD monitors or sensors and I'm using, uh, I'm using one of the programs that they provide or recommend and I'll talk a little bit about that but just real quick state of charge right now it is 25 percent roughly let's see if that thing will focus 25 percent um, ambient temperature outside right now is 92 degrees today it got up a little bit over 100 roughly um, I just jumped in right now and just fired it up and you can see the battery temp right now is you can see that um so it shows the battery temperature right there 92.2 is the current temp and let me see if i shut off this light if it helps any um so that is the current temperature and what i want to do is i'm going to go take this down to a uh a location here to do a quick charge um Probably, we'll see if there's any 350s available. We'll try to get on one of those, but if not, we'll just use a 150. And I want to do the preconditioning thing and see if that makes a difference. And what I mean by that is, um, let's see here. So if I go to charging, they precondition the battery. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to try to try it just having it navigate me to the uh, charge station and then see if it automatically starts to precondition the battery. But I'm also going to hit that because it, it doesn't really tell me whether it's doing anything. But I'll start recording here again after I, I uh, activate that preconditioning uh, button there. And we'll see if it does anything to the battery. Uh, I'm really curious to find out uh, what it does to the temperature of that thing. Because usually cruising around all day, it was 100 and something degrees today. Uh, ambient temperature on that or I should say the temperature of that battery was maintaining at about 86, 87 degrees, which was awesome, actually. Um, around town, picking up all that roadway heat, I was noticing uh, temperatures are right around 90 um, as I was driving around the city streets. Uh, today, I was doing um, a little bit of both uh, city driving and freeway, and it was uh, maintaining at around 86, 87. So, um, those of you that were ever wondering, I mean, there you go. So, all right, so let's head off to the, uh, charge station and let's see what kind of temperatures we get out of this thing. And again, uh, 25% charge, uh, on this thing right now, uh, ambient temperature outside is 92 ish. So let's see, uh, see how it goes. So I guess while we're driving over to the charge station here, um, we can discuss a little bit about my impressions of the driving on the, uh, IX. This, I'm in the M60, by the way. Uh, we should be taking delivery of the uh, the other IX uh, shortly, so we'll do a little comparison on it. But the M60 has been absolute joy to drive. Uh, I really, it's kind of hard for me to hold this thing steady, holding an iPad. Uh, but uh, it's been an absolute joy to drive. I have no complaints on this thing so far. It's just been fantastic. The cockpit in here is is fantastic. Uh, yeah, everything about it. Uh, plenty of power, very plush ride when you want it to be plush. Uh, all my passengers so far have had no complaints. Everyone uh, has nothing but compliments to say about the uh, the drive so far. It's been great. So, you know, can't really complain. So, uh, so far uh, on this thing, it's been wonderful. Oh, let's see what we're doing on ambient temp or I mean, uh, temperature on that. We're at 92.39 degrees Fahrenheit on that battery. Um, interestingly enough, you can see the state of charge. It shows that it's at 30.34% when it's, it usually shows that it's about 5% off. So the readout on the vehicle is showing 25%. Um, it's usually always off by about five. So I don't know if that's the, this must be the true state of charge uh, versus what the vehicle is, is showing. So there's actually a little bit extra in reserve is what I'm assuming but we'll find out. All right, so we're on the way to the charge station and I'll pick back up here in a second.
All right, so what I tried to do was uh, pull over and kind of let this thing heat up a little bit. I just kind of let it sit and be idle. Um, we're down to about 23%. Um, and I wanted to kind of show you, we're not, we're not too far away from the charging station, but I wanted to show you a little bit about this app. So on that VPeak, uh, the car scanner is the app that, that I chose to use. And I just want to show you how quickly this thing, I leave it on all the time, by the way. So you just hit that, whoops, let me get this up here. You hit that, you hit connect, and it connects pretty doggone quick. So once it, uh, the car scanner connects, you just go in here and you hit the, I just hit all sensors and it brings up all of your temperatures pretty doggone quick or different sensors. We're at 92.23 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm gonna hit the, uh, you can see up here, I'm gonna hit the preconditioned battery and drive over to the charging station. This is what the little messages that you get here activate once so it's activated i didn't go through the direct me to the station um feature to see if this thing was going to actually uh turn on automatically like it says it does uh the conditioning the battery because to tell you the truth i couldn't get the damn thing to activate um going through the bmw app so uh it's still a learning curve i'm still trying to figure that whole, whole thing out but anyway i'm gonna drive over to the station now you can see what the time is here 857 I'm not gonna bore you all the way to the station so we're gonna go get to the charging station and, and we'll see what kind of differences we have on this uh, battery temp all right so here we go stay tuned all right everyone you can see the uh, the time and the state of charge here you can see that we're at 23 percent and activating that preconditioned battery thing uh, based on what I'm seeing here it didn't do shit so 92.2 is what the uh, temperature says here, um, which is actually surprising that the ambient temperature right now is, I guess, let me turn off that. Maybe that's, there we go. Ambient temperature is at 81 degrees right here. So this could be just be because of concrete, the asphalt right that we're at right now is kind of hot and maybe it's picking up some of that. Um, I don't know, but anyway, 92 degrees is where we're at on the temperature. Let's throw a charge in this thing and see what the battery temp is when we're done. So I'm going to go charge this thing up for 30 minutes. I think this is just a 150 station that we're at here. Um, so we're going to go, whoop, sorry, back out here. I think we're, I think we're at a 150 station. So we'll go charge this thing up and uh, throw 30 minutes in it and we'll see what kind of uh, temperatures we get. All right, so let's check and see if this, uh, the VP is gonna continue to monitor the battery while it's charging. Um, be interesting if it does, but it looks like it is. So battery temp is going up. We're at 94 degrees and increasing. We're charging at roughly 139 kilowatts on this thing. Um, you can kind of see where that thing, I don't know if you can even see that or not, but there you go. So we're on a 150 station. Uh, we're up to 140. We're doing 140 kilowatts. And what do we got for temp? We're at 95.6. So let's see how the, it's a big kind of interesting. This VPeak that we picked up, um, I just picked up on Amazon. It's been good. Uh, it's been, you know, the most important thing for me has been finding out what the battery temp is. The other information that's on that screen, honestly, if those of you that are watching, I've got a lot of information from the viewers on picking up some, some stuff about, uh, like using the camera quicker and so forth. So I appreciate all those comments guys. Uh, but this is the most important thing for me, which is the battery temp. I just wish that we had that in the vehicle. Um, but you know, going through the V peak is is cool too so we're at 141 on the kilowatts and battery temp 90 is going to be hitting 97 here in a second looks like we'll see how that uh yeah we're up 97 and climbing so i'll keep you uh, updated on the progression as we go through this but there you go 141 and we're at 97 and a half degrees roughly in climbing. So let's we'll see how hot this battery gets. I'll keep you all posted. 142. 
and temperatures at 99.6 and climbing looks like it might hit 100 degrees here in a second so 142 went up just one kilowatt and we're at looks like it's going to hit 100 degrees all right 100 degrees and climbing pump it in 145 kilowatts battery temp 105.8 and climbing 105.8 looks like 106 it's gonna hit 106 here in a second yep there we go 106 degrees Fahrenheit on the battery temp and that's uh, with 145 kilowatts going in ambient temp outside 82 degrees pump it in 146 we're at 43 percent charge battery temp is 108 and a half and climbing 108 and a half and climbing. All right, sorry I uh, keep giving you all these updates, guys, but every time I see the, the kilowatts increase, I just want to give you an update. So we're pumping in 148, we're at 47% charge, and the battery temp, we're at 111 and a half and climbing. So it looks like we still have 18 minutes of charge left to go here, so uh, it's still going. I'll keep you all posted, but we're putting in 148 kilowatts right now. Well, that's interesting. It, it ramped up to, it was at 149. It looks like it's dropping now. We're at 52% charge. It's dropping down to 140 kilowatts. And our temperature on the battery right now is at, it was at 111, but it's dropping actually. Well, you're watching it with me here. We're at, we're at 110 and it's dropping pretty substantial. So battery temp is dropping. Um, it went to, I think we peaked out at about 149 kilowatts and uh, looks like it dropped down to 141. I sure would like to know what the parameters are that what causes or at what point does it ramp up, ramp down. I wish I knew what the parameters were. I wish there was some place that actually listed that. But anyway, 53% charge. We still have about 15 minutes left of uh, charging to go on this 30 minute charge uh, cycle. Oh, you're watching the uh, kilowatts drop here with me. 135, looks like it's falling. So it's starting to taper off a little bit. And we're at 108.5 and she's dropping on the temperature. So interesting. Uh, what did we peak out at? I think about 112 was it? but it's, it's dropping pretty substantial. I think the, uh, the peak that I've seen so far on the charging is about 158 on what I've experienced so far. But anyway, that's where we're at. We're watching the, uh, the temperature slowly decline and we're at 136 kilowatts. All right, so I'll keep you all posted here. We still got at least another 15, close to 15 minutes of uh, charge left here. So interestingly enough, we're uh, we're still charging at 118, uh, 82 degrees ambient temperature outside. We're at 63 percent charge. Uh, the OBD is actually oh, it went up a little bit. It was at 104, so temperatures at 105.1. Looks like it's going up again. Uh, it was down to about 104 but you'll notice you see what it says the uh the battery state of charge where it's 67 percent but on the vehicle it's it's always about five off so like i said I, i'm i'm assuming that the obd is is picking up the true uh state of charge of the complete battery because i'm sure that the bmw has a little bit of reserve back on that thing that they don't calculate for uh, kind of like driving your car past E, I would imagine. But anyway, uh, we are about nine minutes left. Well, but yeah, about nine minutes left in this charge. And uh, I don't know if we can see how much I put in here so far. I'll show you that on the, I'll show you that on that thing when I can't zoom in on that. But anyway, we're at 20 minutes, 21 minutes of charge so far. Uh, well, it looks like we put in about 48, 48 into it so far and 106.2 on the, whoops, 106.2 on the, on the heat degrees Fahrenheit. 
kind of holding steady and looks like it just dropped down a little bit 109 on the kilowatts so starting to taper off here we'll see uh, where we're at in the next eight minutes all right looks like we're coming down to the tail end of this um, we are at it's charging right now at 85 kilowatts 82 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside for ambient temperature. We're at 77% charge is what it's saying. Um, battery temp, this thing regulates the battery really well. Uh, so it's been maintaining about a 104, 106 roughly. Right now it's at 104 and, well, let me go outside. Let's go try to film with this uh, iPad's a little bit difficult, but anyway, so tell you it's, it's growing on me it is growing on me uh at the gold i mean anyway so the charging on this thing this thing delivered we're at 30 minutes so it looks like it delivered 63 i'm not going to stop this charge 78 percent is what we ended up with uh 63.35 is what we're at so anyway not too bad can't complain all right so let's go put this video together here all right, so the uh, final on this charge, uh, ambient 83%, or I'm sorry, 83 degrees, 78% uh, charge is what we ended up with. And right now the battery temp is showing 107.8, 107.6 roughly. All right, so it's dropping. Let's, uh, let's go for a little drive here and let's see how fast this thing drops. All right, so we've been cruising around here just a little bit trying to see how this thing is going to cool itself ambient temperature 82 degrees and the battery temp we're at 101 roughly 101.6 so it's slowly cooling itself i think the issue is we're driving city streets and it's uh maybe at freeway speed it would cool even quicker but anyway um it's slowly cooling down but it's it's holding its own so we'll see uh, at the end of this trip here what that ending temperature is going to be. But all these stop and go uh, lights are not helping things as far as getting some good airflow going through here. We'll have to do another one of these tests later on and we'll just go straight onto a freeway and see if that uh, makes a difference. But anyway, I I've always wanted to know this. Looks like we're at 101 uh, right now. But so far, I'm pretty pleased with what I'm seeing with this OBD. All right. All right, we're coming to the end of our trip here. Uh, so you can tell I've been doing a little playing. Uh, ambient temperature, 79 degrees over here. And the uh, OBD is telling us the battery temp is down to 97, uh, which is pretty doggone good. And the one thing that I, I didn't mention earlier, but uh, I'm driving, as you can tell, in maximum regen. So driving on the city streets and doing the maximum regen you know pumping all that power back into these batteries and, and it, uh, there was somebody we, we tested something or I, I don't remember uh, TTR auto I think might have brought it up but there was a, a thing on there where it showed how much power was getting pumped into the back in these batteries on regen and it was pretty intense uh, and that I'm sure is what's generating a lot of the heat when you're driving on the city streets and that's probably what's keeping that battery temp up uh, because again, uh, earlier today, it's a hundred plus degrees and we were doing both freeway and city streets, but we did a, quite a bit of freeway and it was, it was holding at about, uh, 87, 86 degrees on the battery temp, which was pretty good. So anyway, uh, this was a pretty good test and, uh, I'll keep you all, uh, updated on the new stuff that's going to be coming up.